Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, I'm going to share with you this word the Lord just downloaded in my spirit, which is called You Pass, They Fail. They has to do with your prodigal spouse. Okay. So one of the ways how the Lord speaks to me is just by giving me a download of his word. Um, and so that's what just happened. I was sitting here at my desk, um, working on a few things, and I heard in my spirit, you pass, they fail. And so I began to write down, you know, what I was hearing the Lord speak to me. And just like that, he gave me revelation. Okay. And so here's the word. Now, let me just say this before I get in this word. This word is for those of you who are in stage eight. Okay. This word, you pass, they fail, is for those of you who are in stage eight. Okay. Ever since God has told you that this particular person is your God ordained spouse, and when God revealed to you that this person is a prodigal, and God instructed you to pray for this individual, and you were obedient to God's instruction, right? God instructed you to pray for this person. He instructed you to be loyal to this individual. He um, also told you to keep your heart clean, forgive this person, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? And you were obedient to the Lord's instruction. The same way how God gave you instructions to pray, be loyal, forgive them, right? He probably also even said move in purpose, you know, things of that nature, right? The same way God gave you instruction, he was also giving your prodigal instructions as well. God told your, your prodigal to uh, help you, to stop attacking you if your prodigal was attacking you. God, you know, instructed your prodigal to uh, lead that prodigal lifestyle and come back and help you, whether that help is with children, whether that help is to, you know, uh, it could be a financial help. Um Whatever the case may be, God instructed your prodigal, okay, to help you. It could have been to help you with an opportunity. Maybe they were in a position to give you an opportunity, um, but because of their heart posture, they decided not to give you the opportunity, okay? And so they fail. You pass, they fail, okay? The test was concerning their heart. So God was testing your heart to see if you had a willing heart, right? God was testing your heart. So when God told you to pray, to be loyal, to forgive your spouse, God was looking at the heart. And because you responded well, that communicated to God, okay? My child is uh is obedient to their father's instruction. My child heart is 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 in a good, you know, uh state where he needs it to be concerning this person, right? Your heart was willing. However, your prodigal heart was unwilling. You had or have love, peace and support in your heart. Your prodigal heart was full of hate, jealousy, bitterness wickedness, right? So your heart was willing, prodigal's heart was unwilling. You pass, they fail. God reminded me of a dream he gave me, I believe it was uh, last year, 2022. Um, I don't have the, the exact date because you know God instructed me to leave all my belongings back in Michigan. So, I'll, so my uh, dream book is back in Michigan. But he gave me a dream last year where we, I was at a mall and I was sitting at this table. It was like a computer desk. Um, it was like, like a, not, not a computer desk, an office table, right? I was sitting on one side. My person was on the opposite side, okay? And I'm looking directly at my person while he's writing like it was almost as if he was uh working on something in my mind um as i was looking at him i said he's focused on getting things in order or done i, I can't remember if i said he's getting things in order or he's getting things done but he had a focus right as he was writing things and getting things in order and i'm just sitting there looking at him and then i stood up 
And I walked to the escalator and I began to go up the escalator while he still stayed down at that table working or writing, whatever it was he was writing, I couldn't see it, but he was working at that table um, trying to get things in order. Okay. So the Lord reminded me of this dream. He'd been, he'd been bringing this dream back to me all week. Okay. Just giving me more revelation, more revelation concerning this dream. Now scriptures say, uh, it talks about how God will prepare a table uh, before you in the presence of your enemy. We were sitting at an office table, right? Prodigals, they will make God ordain out to be their enemy, okay? And so just as I stated in the dream, I stood up and went up the escalator, okay? Because you passed the test and prodigals failed, you are now being elevated. That's why I said this is for people who are in stage eight. You are now being elevated and your protocol will continue to stay down there while they deal with the issues of their heart. Your protocol will watch God elevate you. Your protocol will watch God promote you. Your protocol will watch God take you, 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 you and your life to the next level while they deal with what's dealing with them. Okay? So you passed and they failed. Your prayers wasn't in vain. Your weight wasn't in vain. Everything that you have done, all seeds you sown, you sold it unto God. You didn't know that you were being tested, but thank God you passed the test, okay? And so do not get um, discouraged, okay? Um, while you are being elevated and promoted, like how I said, your prodigal will still be down there sitting at that table dealing with the issues of their heart. They will still be down there sitting at that table getting things in order, okay? God has a standard. He has set for these God-ordained marriages. And until your prodigal rise to that standard, they will continue to watch God elevate and pr promote you to that next level, okay? So you pass, they fail. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.